The following video demonstrates the steps involved with setting up the Baxter Home Choice Claria Cycler. The content of this video is meant to supplement training provided by PD programs in BC for patients using the Claria Cycler. If you have any questions or require further direction, please contact your PD program. The first step of any PD procedure is to wash your hands. Always remember to wash your hands with soap and water before setting up the Claria Cycler. The Claria Cycler can be set up anytime during the day so that it's ready to use whenever you want to start therapy. To begin setting up the Cycler, you will need to gather all of your supplies. You will need the correct solutions, a cassette, hand gel, and a face mask. You may also need one to two drain extension lines, a patient line extension, or a drain bag if you are using one. Turn on the cycler. The on-off switch is found on the back of the cycler. The cycler's display screen will light up and the Home Choice Claria logo will appear. Once the cycler is turned on, your name will appear on the screen. Press the green button when you see your name. The message connecting to network will appear on the screen, which indicates that the cycler is connected to the ShareSource platform. The message confirm configurations appears if the system detects new therapy settings in the ShareSource platform. The system may prompt you to enter additional information, such as weight and blood pressure. When all data is entered, press the red button. Open all of the dialysis solution bags on your workspace Examine the solutions using the word SEAL. Check the solution type, the expiry date, the solution amount, and if there are any leaks. Make sure the solution is clear. Place one 5-liter bag on the heater and all other bags beside the cycler. Press the green button to start. The cycler will now say, load the set. Open the cassette package as directed. The drain line is the line on the far right. The red clamp is the heater line. White clamps are supply lines. The blue clamp is the last fill line, and the line on the left is the patient line. Close the blue, white, and red clamps. Leave the patient line unclamped. Open the cassette door by lifting the lever up. The door opens downward. Load the cassette inside with the tubing to the right. Close the door ensuring none of the tubing lines are kinked. Pull the lever on the door downwards to lock the door firmly in place. Hang the blue organizer on the front of the door. you will notice a slot in the organizer, which can be placed over the bar on top of the door. Pull the organizer to catch the hook on the door. Press the green button. The cycler will now say self-testing. The cycler is testing to make sure that the cassette is functioning correctly. It will take approximately five minutes to complete the self-test. During this time, you can continue to set up the cycler by getting the drain line ready. If you are using the drain line extension, open the package now. Remove the clear cap from the white spike end of the line and hold it in your hand. The first line on the right of the blue organizer is the drain line. Remove the line from the organizer and remove the cap. Connect the drain line, the spike of the extension line. Make sure to close the white clamp on the small sample sideline. Tape the end of the drain line in a drain, sink, tub, or toilet. 
If you use a drain bag, you can attach the drain line from the cassette directly to the drain bag. Close the white clamp on the drain bag and the white clamp on the small sample sideline of the drain line. When the self-testing is done, the cycler screen will say, connect bags. Open the clamps. Put on a face mask and wash your hands again with hand gel. Starting from the right, Take the line with the red clamp line from the organizer. This line will go to the heater bag. Remove the cap from the heater line. Remove the pull ring from the heater solution bag. Be careful not to touch the open ends. Connect the two together using a twisting motion. Break the blue seal by using a snapping motion. Make sure it is completely broken. Open the red clamp. Repeat with each remaining three or five liter solution bag by connecting each line with a white clamp to each dialysis solution bag to be used. Break the blue seal on each bag, making sure it is completely broken. Open the white clamp or clamps. If you use a different last fill solution such as extra Neal, you will take the blue clamp line and connect it to the special solution by repeating the same connection steps. Break the blue seal and open the blue clamp. If a line with a white clamp is not being used, close the clamp and leave the line on the organizer. As a final check, make sure all clamps are open to the solution bags that will be used. Blue seals are open and all lines are not kinked. You are now ready to prime the cycler. Press the green button. The cycler screen will say priming. The priming process clears all lines of air and takes approximately 10 minutes to complete. When priming is complete, the cycler will say check patient line. Connect yourself. The cycler is now ready for use and will wait until you are ready to connect and begin your therapy.